Today we'll be looking at how to take a static image and make some motion in it using stop motion. So the hardest part of this is finding a graphic that has multiple positions in it. So I found this bird here because it was a question in Facebook of how to make the bird look like it was flying. So as you can see here, there are different positions of this bird. So this is the perfect one to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the background. So I'm going to look for two positions. I like this one and I like this one. No, let's use this one and this one. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to duplicate the image and then I'm going to just crop out the birds that I want to use. And then I want to use this one over here. So let's go over here and use this one. And I'm going to crop out those birds. The next thing I want to do is kind of line them up on top of each other and get them to the same size. So if they look like they're the same size. So then once they're the same size, I'm going to highlight them and then make them the size that I want for my animation. So say I want them here. So this is the easy peasy part. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the page. I'm going to go to my first one, go over to the positions tab, go to layers, and I'm going to delete one. So we're going to delete the open one, the top one, we'll delete that one. We'll go to the second page. We're going to delete the second one. So we'll delete the one underneath. So if you have one flapping, one with the wings out. So here's the very easy part. I'm going to go and hit highlight my first page. I am going to hit control A, which highlights both of my pages. And now what I'm going to do is hit control again and D. And just keep it as long as you want that animation going. So now I've got a bunch of pages just like that. What I want to do now is go and change my timing. So I'm going to change it down to a 0.2. Let's see if this will work. Sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't. Apply to all pages. Now they're all 2's. So now we can go and we can go through and flap the wings. And there you go. There is a static image flapping its wings. The other one I did was a butterfly, so I can go, let's go, just easy to do this, get rid of all these real quick, and we'll get rid of this page, delete the page, bam, delete the page. So another one I saw was this butterfly here, so I'm going to remove the background on this butterfly. I can crop this out because I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to use that butterfly, go get this butterfly here, uh, remove the background. Um, the flower is still there, so what I'm going to do is go back into my background remover, reduce this down a little bit, hit the remove, make it big, and just do some house cleaning. What in the world? Oh, I got it in restore. Goofy girl. Here we go. Clean that up real nice. Get out the background remover. Oh, there's a little piece there. But you know what? When I move it up, it'll be cropped out. Same thing we're going to do. I want the downward position. And then I want to move this one up so their bodies kind of match. So that would be the head here. Let's do the head here a little bit like so. And the wings look about the same. Make it a little bit bigger. So all I'm going to do is, again, is duplicate the page. I'm going to go back to the first page. Go into position. I'm going to take the top one, I'm going to delete it, and then I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to go to the bottom one, delete that. Oops, I hit duplicate, sorry. The second one, delete. And now I'm going to do is hit my control A again. Then I'm going to hit hold my control and hit D a bunch of times. And now I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to put that to point two, enter. Apply to all. And we're going to watch our butterfly flap its wings. So now your butterfly looks like it's flying. And that's how simple that is. And I thank you for guys for stopping by. I hope you try some crazy little things with this little trick. And if you're on Facebook, stop by and show me because I love to see it. So that's it for me. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.